Hey guys, I am Vikash and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this very simple photo slideshow animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. So let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition. Let's call it main comp and set the size of this composition 1920 by 1080 set this frame rate 30 duration make it 5 seconds long hit ok and now we have to take one more composition that is going to be our media placeholder where we can drag our image or video file that we want to use in this project so go to composition new composition and let's call it media and set the size of this composition 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 duration make it 5 seconds long hit ok and now go to your main composition and let's create a background so go to layer new and take a new solid and let's call it busy and pick this pure white color hit ok and now let's create a square shape so select this rectangle tool and set this field to solid color and pick any color hit ok and set this stroke to none and let's create a perfect square so hold alt and shift on the keyboard and create a square like that okay and then select this shape layer one and select this pan behind tool and set this anchor point in the center of this square shape and select this move tool and set this square in this corner like that and then click on this add button and add a repeater effect and open this repeater and set this number of copy 6 hit enter and open this transform repeater 1 and set this x position so set this x value 356 and now let's animate this start opacity and in opacity so go to around one second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on end opacity and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a start opacity and then go to very beginning of this animation and set this start value 0 hit enter and set this end opacity value 0 and hit enter and now select these keyframes for end opacity and go to on frame number 10 and drag these keyframes on frame number 10 and let's play this so as you can see it's looking nice and now close this shape layer one and let's create a duplicate so select this hit ctrl d to duplicate and hit u on the keyboard to bring out this active keyframe and now select these keyframes and set this CTI on frame number 10 and drag this keyframe on frame number 10 and then go to very beginning of this animation and select this keyframe for end opacity and drag this keyframe on frame number 0 and let's close this and select this shape layer go to the end of this animation hold shift and press down arrow key and set this shape over here all right now let's create one more copy of this shape layer one so select this hit ctrl d to duplicate and drag this shape layer three over this shape layer two and hold shift on the keyboard and press down arrow key and let's set this shape over here and now select all this layer hit s on the keyboard to bring out these scale properties and let's scale it up a bit so set this value maybe 110 percent hit enter and now select this shape layer 2 press down arrow key and shift it like that and select this shape layer 3 hold shift and press down arrow key and set the shape like that all right now select these three layer and hold shift and press left arrow key and set this in center like that and now let's create a time gap between each layer so hit u to close this and go to around one second and drag this second layer on one second and go to around two second and drag this shape layer three on two second and let's play this so as you can see it's looking something like that 
and select this three layer and right click on that and click on this pre-compose and let's call it matte and check this move all attributes hit ok and now let's import an image file so right click on this project window go to import file and select your image file that you want to use in this project so i'm using this image that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and link given in the description so go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import and double click on this media composition and let's open it up and drag this image into this media composition and then go to your main composition and let's import media comp into this main composition and now let's drag this mat over this media composition and click on this toggle switches and change this track mat so select this media and change this track mat to alpha mat and now as you can see it's looking something like that and let's import a light leak effect so right click on this project window go to import file and let's import this light leak effect that i have given a link in the description so go to the link and download this light leak effect and click on import and let's drag this light leak into this main composition and change this blending mode to a screen all right and now select this media composition and let's apply some effect on it so go to effect and preset and search for tint effect so this is a tint effect let's apply this on media and make it black and white all right now let's create a text over here so select this text tool and select your favorite font style but in this case i'm using arial font style and set the size of this font 200 pixel and set this line spacing 175 pixel and let's type anything whatever you want to type so i'm typing photo slideshow and select this slideshow and change this regular to bold all right and now select this text and select this move tool and set this over here like that and now let's apply gradient ramp effect so just select this text go to effect and go to generate and click on this gradient ramp and let's pick a nice color so select this start color to sky blue hit ok and set this end color maybe blue hit ok all right and now let's set this gradient point so select this gradient ramp and set this gradient point over here and set this int gradient point maybe over here so as you can see it's looking nice and now let's apply one more effect so go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow so this is a drop shadow effect let's apply this on text okay and go to very beginning of this animation and hold control and scroll it up and let's create a nice shadow so just set this softness 10 percent hit enter and set this opacity maybe 30 percent hit enter so as you can see it's looking much more better and now let's click on this fit and we have to add a text animation on it so go to very beginning of this animation select this text and search for a random fed up effect so this is a random fed up effect so just go to very beginning of this animation and double click on this random fed up and let's play this so as you can see it's looking something like that now select this text hit u on the keyboard and go to around three second and drag this keyframe on three second and then play this again so it's looking nice and let's close this all right now we have to create a camera so go to layer new and take a new camera and let's call it cam and set this preset 35 mm hit ok and let's create a null object so go to layer new and take a new null object and let's call it camera control 
hit enter and let's parent this camera with this camera control so pick this speaker point and let's attach this with camera control and now let's create a distance between each layer in g space so click on this toggle switchage and let's turn all these layer into 3d so let's enable 3d button and now select this media hit p on the keyboard and set this g position so set this value maybe 2000 hit enter maybe turn off this 3d button for this background layer all right and leave this mat as it is and select this light leak hit p on the keyboard to bring out these position properties and set this g position maybe 1500 hit enter and select this text hit p on the keyboard to bring out this position properties and let's set this g position 1000 hit enter and now let's scale it up and fit this so select this media hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it up so set this scale value maybe 210 percent hit enter and go to the end of this animation and let's create a scale animation for this media so click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this scale value maybe 240 percent hit enter so as you can see we have a nice scale animation maybe set this resolution to auto all right select this light leak and let's scale it up so hit s on the keyboard and set this scale value like that and now select this text and set this text in this corner over here maybe and let's scale it up so hit s on the keyboard and scale this up maybe 115 percent hit enter and set it over here all right now let's animate the camera so let's close this and select this camera control hit p on the keyboard to bring out these position properties and go to around for second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position properties and go to very beginning of this animation and set this y position maybe negative 350 hit enter and let's play this so as you can see it's looking something like that and right now we have a very basic animation so just select this keyframe and hit f9 to easy ease them and go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on that and check this edit a speed graph and now select this point and hold this handle and drag it like that and go to on 10 frame and hold this handle also and create a curve like that and then close this graph editor and close this camera control all right and let's play this So as you can see it's looking nice now let's do one more thing just select this media composition hit ctrl d to create a duplicate and go to around for second and hit t on the keyboard to bring out this opacity and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on opacity and go to on three second and set this opacity to zero and now let's trim this layer on three second like that and let's close this and it's almost done so let's take a look all right and now let's enable motion blur so turn on this motion blur and click on this motion blur button like that and now it's done so let's check this All right, so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye